I tell you what, um, I was just reintroducing Grant Lee Stevens too. And that was Grant Wells uh, that we was having a look at those properties with Grant Lee. And did you see the, uh, the HT GTS and the some Ford in that uh, Taringi garage? There were some terrific cars there. I suppose they're not included with the price. No, but oh, I just love looking, having a snoop inside people's houses. <laughs> no wonder I'm in real estate. Now we've got um, uh, a question. I am looking at subdividing a land on which my home is situated. Will there be any tax implications, Grantly, if I sell the subdivided land? Well, land is an asset for capital gains tax purposes. So if you sell the land separately to the dwelling, this capital gains tax will apply. So the common example is, for, is the house at Medindi. So the house, big block of land, tennis court next, do next door. If you sell the tennis court separately, then the capital gains tax will apply. If you sell the house and the tennis court together in the same transaction, and you've lived in that house, obviously, then capital gains tax will not apply. Pretty straightforward. Great. Um, so that's about, there's a bit of a question here from email. Maybe you can play host for a sec. Well, Anthony, I do have an email, and this email is from Darren Saab. This is my turn to ask you a question. <laughs> What's the average price a house in Adelaide is selling for at the moment? And uh, there's, uh, the answer to that is twofold. The houses have a median price at the moment of 382 and a half, and they've risen 6.3% in the last 12 months. So that's better than, infla better than inflation and 299,000 for your apartments and units, and they've risen 3.1%. So fantastic. Grantly, thank you for joining us today. We're going to go and have a look at some more property. So appreciate you coming in. Thanks for the opportunity. It's been a bit of fun. Yeah, thank it's been, you. It's been great. We'll see you at the footy. Thank you. You look forward to it. And we're off to see some hot properties.